right guys, today we are doing a small home improvement project. We are in my game room and we're at my wet bar that we actually built from scratch. We did that knee wall there. My husband um, did install these uh, pendant lights, um, the cabinets, the counter, everything, nothing was here. This wet bar is by our design. We're going to put some multicolored LED strip lights in there. Hi, Sam. Hi. Don't mind the mess on the bar. We have all the bottles that usually belong on this shelf over there where my husband's installing the LED lights. So I know the bar looks kind of junky right now. We've got lots of bottles and stuff going on over here, but we will get that cleaned up as soon as we get these LED lights on. Okay, so we have a 16 foot colored LED strip light comes with a remote control. What we're going to do is outline the mirror and we want to highlight everything that's inside the cabinets. So that's the plan. It seems pretty simple. Here's the LED strip. It's basically encased in a rubber case. This one doesn't have the tape on the back. It comes with a strap that goes across and fastens with screws. So let's just get started. All right. All righty, I'm excited about it. All right, so the brackets need to be mounted with a screw. I'm marking the centers. This is the center in the wine rack. So that's where I'm gonna start. I've found the center of the tape strip and I'm gonna start it right here and I'm gonna continue on to highlight the mirror and then to drill a hole into the bottom of each side of the cabinet and continue on then we'll go ahead and plug it into the uh, outlet down there i'm going to cover up the cord with a piece of wire mold but that probably won't happen today like i was saying before my husband and i uh built this bar from scratch i'm so proud of this stone knee wall that we did ourselves as well that was a pretty cool project. So I plan on actually putting stone on that wall as well where the fireplace is to match the knee wall, just as an accent wall. So when I get up to that, I'm gonna try and record that as well. That way you guys can see how I actually installed this stone. So back to hubby. It's got one of the brackets in there. What are you guys doing over here? Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, Josh? Yeah. Who's winning? Um, Josh. Oh my gosh, Josh is winning? Oh. Ah. <laughs> I don't think you did that right, Kate. You put them all in the black. Okay, let's take a look at the progress. How's it looking? I'm drilling a pilot. Well, I think it's gonna look great. So we've got your safety glasses because you should always work with safety glasses, especially with projects like this. You don't want any sawdust in your eyes. Okay, so I guess if you pull it taut, maybe um, once you get the other brackets in, it'll be okay. Do you want me to play with you, Sarah? Yes. Oh, gosh. Sarah. Oh. Right. You got a point on me, Sarah. No. 
Okay guys, got a few brackets up there now and I am not actually gonna record Sam installing all of the brackets. So far as you can see, there are brackets along the wine rack and he will also put brackets along the cabinet to hold the LED lights in place. He's got his safety glasses on now. Sam's being nice and safe. <laughs> We'll get back when he's a little bit further in. And now what I need to do is um, poke some holes in the bottom of the cabinet so I can run the uh, LED strip light into the cabinet. He just drilled a hole in the bottom of the cabinet so that he can fish the LED tape light through it. And there you have it. He's fishing it through now. Jordan, I need a vacuum, please, so we can get the mess up here. Okay, so we've turned the lights on just to get an idea of what we're looking at. Looks like he's gonna have to put a couple of brackets in the center there where the light is taking a bit of a dip. I want it to be flush. Just turn it off. Not the blue one, son. The red one. Can uh, you hand me that drill? Sure. Are you working hard up there, Sam? Hardly working. This is not. It's a little awkward, you know. Yeah, the position. Mm-hmm. Do you need screws? Mm-hmm. Okay, two, right? Screw me, baby. What the heck does that mean? It means screw me. What does that mean? When I'm making pizza, I say cheese me. What? <laughs> I'm completely confused. Put the cheese on, give me some screws. Screw me. That's all screw me is a nice way of saying pass me some screws. Mm -hmm. But I only say that to my wife. It's definitely not a guy thing, you know? And this is supposed to be a G-rated vlog, so we'll keep it clean. Your hand's always bloody. What happened to your hand? I don't know. Your hand's always I I scratched. It at work. Sheesh. I don't want to damage the strips by pinching them too much. The shelf should have been cut a little bit narrower so it's not pinching. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shelf a little bit. But sure. you're not going to cut far back as far back as not the... Not far uh, back as the brackets. Okay. I don't want to even see it. Alrighty. So I need to find a coping saw. I don't know where it is. You don't know where it is? It's been years since I've seen the coping saw. I don't use it very often. So we'll be back after a haircut. <laughs> okay, so he didn't find his coping saw. He's cutting some notches on each end for clearance for the uh, strip light so that it's not pinching. You don't think that's enough? Yeah, it might be. Be careful, Sam. Let's take a look at that notch you cut. Cool. Good job, Betty. Still things that you have to do. How's it working now? It's not pinching? Good job. Much better. Perfect clearance. Can you see the two flanges that it mounts with these screws? One on the top and one on the bottom. Yeah, I see it. My husband says he has a professional way to handle this. So let's take a look. 
I'm just not sure where I want to mount this. But it's got to be... The eye has to be up inside the cabinet. Far enough. Alright. Mm-hmm. So I, I can mount it right there. Alright. Okay. What does it need to reach? It has to be against the wall here. Inside, encased inside the wire mold. Is it going to be kind of funky or is it going to be okay? I'm sorry, what's funky? I said funky. Is it funky? Or will it be okay? You're the professional. <laughs> you tell me. But you're the home decorator. I'm not. Screw me. Place it on there. But you, what you just serious? do? I just broke the flange off. How'd you do that? I just, my finger just caught the wire and it broke. <gasps> oh no. Yes, Sam. Put that on your knees. Where are your knee pads? Let's not worry about that now. Let's worry about what I just broke. Can you just stick it up there with Velcro since the Velcro sticks nicely there on the wood? Mm -hmm. Can we do that instead? Right. Will that work? I don't know, but we'll find out. Okay. I have the nail, so I'm going to do this part. You're my best helper ever in the whole wide world. My husband accidentally broke the flange, so we're just going to use velcro two-sided velcro to stick it up there rather than screwing it up there okay so looks like the velcro is working okay now we just need to secure these wires up in here the eye up in there because mama doesn't want to see the eye right. and then all of this can be tied up like so and i've got just the thing to do it can you see the block the brick uh, from here, I can't see the brick now. The receiver? Let me see if I could uh, see it from um, sitting at the bar. Nope, can't see anything. Just that wire sticking now. So I bought these one by one mounting bases at Home Depot. They are, they have a self adhesive on the back and they have slots that you can run your ties, your wire ties through and you can secure your wires to any surface under oh. a cabinet anywhere that's cool yeah so that was the professional fix you had for the wires keeps everything clean mm -hmm. we decided to locate the cords down here under the cabinet instead of inside So this is a little bit of trial and error here. Obviously we've never done this before. And so we didn't have, a, we didn't have an exact plan for everything. Just, we had an idea what we wanted, what we want, wanted to do, but we didn't have an exact plan. So we're just trying to accommodate things and any problems that arise as we go along. Okay, so that's underneath the cabinet now but I could run the wire mold all the way up to the mirror. You always run wire mold vertical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've already fished that wire through while I was cleaning, mm -hmm. and now he's... Cutting relief notches on the side of the shelves for the tape light to go okay. past it. Okay. So basically what he did to the other shelf. Doing a great job, Sam. Anyway, this is the finished product. 
and there are different modes on the remote so you can dim the light you can do three colors you can do seven colors um, there are lots of colors. I don't remember how many colors. You can have it fade in, fade out, blink quick, blink slowly. Um, there's just different modes, different things that you can do with the light. So, um, But I think it looks rather nice. It gives that bar area a really nice look. It's a really quick project and I love the way it turned out. Okay, here's a look at the remote. As you can see, it has lots of different features. A fade feature, jump seven, quick, slow, fade, flash. And there's also a, an auto mode. You can dim them from 25% to 100%. And here are all of the colors under red, green, blue, and white that this particular light strip features. Are you happy with it, Sam? Oh yeah, turned out really good. So instead of pimping our ride, we're gonna pimp our bar. <laughs> pimping our bar. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. Well, Sam is making us a drink and it's not in the glasses. He has us drinking out of plastic cups. We've already done enough cleanup for the day, so we don't wanna anything else dirty. I've turned off most of the lights. I left those pendants on. That way we have a good idea of what it looks like. In my bar. <laughs> Here's one to the t for the uh, project. And more successful projects in the future. Toast. <laughs>